Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of January 1st. Uh, Happy New Year, Libra. We're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this investment card. It says whether you invest today, what whatever you invest in today will flourish in the future. You have this unseen card. It says though you don't see it, there is something much better. Uh, that's super interesting because all three air signs kind of had something that basically said, um, you know, that there's something better coming in for you. And so if you've lost anything or if you feel stuck in love, for example, uh, there could be a much better option uh, coming in for you here. I, I, I do kind of get the feeling it's like, you know, it's like you ever have to like let go of a person where it's like, you know, it's maybe they're like not a horrible person, but also maybe it just can't work out. But also at the same time, it's like they, you know, maybe they know all your right spots. Maybe they know all these special things about you. Maybe they know exactly what to get you for Christmas and, you know, like all that other stuff, right? And so it's like, on one hand, they're perfect. On the other hand, they're a monster, you know? And that's kind of like what's popping into my head here is that for some of you, it's like on paper, someone that you could be missing or maybe you've been stuck on it's like maybe on paper they were good but like really not you know it, or maybe there's something about them that is just not that is not compatible with you or just why it couldn't work out in the first place and um so you know what i think the problem is here is that because you don't you know it's like because they had a lot of the things or they maybe they did a lot of the things that you enjoy in relationships um, it's like because of that, you feel like you're missing out on something or that you're never going to find it again. But really, I feel like that's not true. I feel like you're about to find some, find exactly what you're looking for. So, you know, this looks pretty good, Libra. You have the two of cups here. Uh, then you go to the four of wands, marriage. So again, there could be something new that's better. You have this card that says open to opening to discovery. And it, it's almost like this reading saying, if you allow the universe to bring you something better, it's going to bring you something better. But you have to be open to go on that journey. And I feel like that's what's going on here. The Two of Cups is someone who's very different than your usual type. So there could be someone who is different. And we go down like this, uh, world. So the Two of Cups definitely could represent a person from another world, another location, another country, another state, whatever the case may be. And then you go Libra, um, Aries, right here. <laughs> like, are you kidding? You always get Aries in all your readings. I, I always piss all you Libras off by saying this, but I don't know. It's like, don't shoot the messenger. The freaking card is there. It's like, I, I think sometimes pe pe people leave comments like the card isn't showing up. It's like right here. And so people always like leave these comments. They're like, oh, you're clearly trying to set up a Libra and an Aries. I don't know a Libra or an Aries in my life. I am a loner. I stay home alone with my brother who's a Leo, if you must know. But it's like, I don't know. Like, what, what do you want me to say? It's right here, Aries. So there you go. But if you don't want an Aries, I don't care. Stay single, right? Chris'sCatFood.com coming soon. Chris's box wine will be launching after Chris's cat food. So I got all you single people covered. Don't worry. Uh, but you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is about setting yourself free from uh, self-imposed restriction. So there's like something that you need to set yourself free from. And again, it could just be this like a past person. Um, it could also be uh, just limitations. And I, I really do feel this reading is encouraging you to expand in some way. And uh, yeah, I would just be focusing on expansion, especially with the world. Uh, you also have the um, Queen of Pentacles. Could also be a Capricorn, by the way, coming in for you if you are looking for love. You have this. You have the world, which is Capricorn. You have the devil, which is Capricorn. And the devil's actually showing up in the area of the good stuff. So, you know, that the area of the good stuff is gonna rep, is gonna be positive no matter what. Um, you, you also have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, and you have Taurus twice in this reading as well. So, you know, it could be any sign, but uh, I definitely feel that it could be a Capricorn here. It looks like someone has their eye on you. So either you work with this person or you know this person, the world could represent the internet as well. So, <laughs> you know, this could be someone that's like seen your Instagram or, you know, uh, has seen you on Snapchat or whatever you kids use nowadays. I have no freaking clue, but you know, whatever it is, right? Uh, with the Two of Cups, you have the Page of Wands. Yes, definitely. This person could also just have fire in their chart. They could have like heavy, you know, large amounts of fire in their chart. So, you know, definitely something to pay attention to. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Four of Wands. Are you kidding? It's like there is clearly, a you could clearly be meeting a person that you're committing to. And by the way, if you don't want love, and even if you do, even if you do want love, um, you know, Page of Wands is an adventure. The Four of Wands could just be you committing to an adventure that will set you free. The world is an adventure as well. 
I believe we're in a time of adventure. So uh, the four wands though, like I said, the four wands is something that will set you free. So, you know, this could be you getting like a leadership position in work, which you have that leadership card or whatever this said here, um, this investment card. Wasn't there something about leadership here? <laughs> I could be making that up completely in my head. Oh, you have this crown card at the end, which can represent leadership. I think that's what I was thinking of. But, um, you know, the whole point is, is that, you know, the four wands says when you commit to a new adventure, it sets you free. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands. I definitely feel like you, if you do want love, I would op be open to it with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is kind of, uh, you know, drawing a line in the sand, there, which uh, there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, having boundaries and, you know, uh, having certain standards and things like that, right? Um, so that's fine. But what I would say is if you do want love, you know, make sure you're uh, opening up and allowing it in. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, again, you have this opening to discovery card. I really like this card because it's kind of like dark, uh, like out here, but it's like there's color inside this keyhole. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you that you just need to be open to discovering new ways of doing things. You have this let it go heart card. And so I do feel like some of you might need to let go of something from the past. Again, I had that story popping into my head very clearly that, you know, it's like you're letting go of something that you thought you really enjoyed or that you really wanted or something like that. I don't know, that's what's like, that's what was popping into my head there. Uh, you have the Four of Wands, the World, and the Nine of Cups. The Four of Wands is a card of commitment or committing to something. So I feel for a lot of you that this represents the fact that you need to commit to something in your life that could lead to more success. Um, you know, again, the, the Four of Wands can represent marriage and there's definitely marriage potential here, but I really am getting like a bigger picture meaning on the Four of Wands. I think it's more, like I said, about you committing to a new direction uh, because here's the thing, the Four of Wands is a card of completion and so is the world. So the Four of Wands, there's like this finish line up here and these people are celebrating on the other side of the Four of Wands, but you have to cross through that portal, this threshold right here to get to that celebration. So I feel for a lot of you that it's like, this is saying that there's something in your life that needs to be completed so that you can have something better. And th again, all three air signs said something like this. You have the world. Uh, so again, the world could represent you getting out into the world or you opening up to the world. It is also a card of accomplishments. And I do feel that for those of you in work or business, that there could be like new accomplishments or you're getting recognition. Uh, we see it right here. You have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is a card of, um, you know, do, having done a good job. It is a card of quality work and he is receiving recognition from these two people right here. So I feel for those of you that want like a raise or promotion, um, maybe you want a management position or anything like that. I would be asking for it, number one. Number two, I would be trying to get attention at work if I were you. Uh, you have the nine of wands, which is the wounded warrior. Again, I, I, I do feel like you're starting to open up though, is what I feel. It's like, yeah, maybe you've been wounded in the past and maybe you've been hurt by a person, but it is almost like this reading is saying you are finally letting go. You are opening up. You are kind of like moving forward. I also feel this card is saying like, don't give up if you're working towards something. Because again, we go here to the three of pentacles, to the king of pentacles. For a lot of you, you know, this to me would represent permanent work going up to that king of pentacles. So it's like, you could be looking for a job or a position that, um, supports you for, you know, until you retire, right? It's like, you could be looking for something more permanent or something that's gonna last a lot longer is kind of what I'm getting here. So uh, that's definitely popping into my head, but uh, let's see. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles, work hard, play hard. So I feel like you're trying to balance out your energies here. Um, you know, and I feel like you are. <laughs> really, I, I, I thought I was gonna say something else, but there, nothing popped into my head, so nothing. I have nothing for you. I feel like you are balancing the energies. I think you're balancing things out, plain and simple. Uh, with the uh, world card, you have the nine of cups. Nine of cups is about bathing in the energy of what you want. Um, you know, it is a card that says make a wish, so of course make a wish, but nine of cups, it has a, a specific meaning, which is that you have to kind of like be in the energy of something you want before you can have it. So it's like, if you want love, you have to be in love first. If you want uh, money, you have to be um, abundant before you can have money. So it's not about actually having the thing that you want, but it's about being in that energy and doing things to make sure that you're bathing in the energy of the good stuff. So, you know, that's what I would be doing here. 
with the, the Nine of Cups. I would also be, you have a lot of cards of education. Everybody kind of does right now. So, but I would like educate yourself. I always tell people like, if you want a million dollars, but you're bad with money, then start educating yourself on how to be good with money, right? <laughs> it's like, there's tons of free stuff online. So it's like, we have to, the universe isn't just gonna give you a million dollars, right? It's like, you have to be able to handle it in the first place. So I always tell people like, you want to go learn how to deal with your finances, go make small improvements and just tiny little things, right? And once you do that, then you'll start attracting more. Uh, with the nine of wands, you have the sun. Yes, definitely very, really good reading. This kind of makes the reading move more in the more positive direction. You know, to me, the sun makes the whole entire reading more positive. And, you know, the sun is the best card in the tarot. So a lot of happiness, a lot of good stuff coming in here. So that looks good. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this card that says life will be a roller coaster. <laughs> Enjoy the ride and stop trying to control it. Uh, what you, definitely, you've been on like some sort of roller coaster in the beginning there. You have this card that says spend more time on spiritual growth. I feel like you spend enough time on spiritual growth, honestly. I don't really like cards like this. Um, you know, I, I, one thing I will say is like, I, yeah, I'm very spiritual, but you know, I believe that we spend plenty of time in spirit. I do not, we are here to have a human experience. I think there is such a thing as being too spiritual because it's like, yeah, spirit, being spiritual is great, but you know, like I said, I believe we're here to have a human experience. We are here to be in the 3D. It's like, yeah, I know all these spiritual teachers talk about 5D and all this other stuff. And again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but we are here to be in the 3D. <laughs> we are here to have a, a, a material experience. And so embrace it and learn from it and all that other stuff, right? Um, so sometimes I think people get too caught up in the whole spiritual thing. Uh, you have the Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Page of Swords is like spying. Uh, I, I really feel someone does have their eye on you if you're looking for love, even if you're not. Um, you know, even if you're not looking for love, that's not gonna stop a person from having their eye on you. But I do feel like there is a person who has an eye on you. I feel like they see you as quality and they recognize your quality as well. You know, we see that right here with the uh, Three of Pentacles. So, you know, if you're looking for love, I feel like there could be a person who has their eye on you and uh, they see they like see the quality. I'm also getting something with that nine of cups as well, where it's like they match the energy. Like I said, nine of cups is about matching the energy of what you want before you have it. So, you know, it, it's kind of like this person understands how to match energy and they see the quality. This could also be you as well. Like you could have your eye on a person who you see as quality and you're matching the energy, but take it how it resonates. So, you know, if you want love, this looks amazing. I also feel this is equally as amazing for work for you here, Libra. It looks to me like, again, that you are creating a lot of quality here and or, you know, you're doing something of quality and people are recognizing it in work. And like I always say, this card to me can represent, um, you know, raises, promotions, things like that. I, I wanna see this investment card says that ensure there, um, I can't, I, I just, I need glasses. I cannot read from that far away. Uh, this card says, uh, ensure that where you invest matches your investment goals. So nine of cups, basically this whole entire reading is a nine of cups reading. It's saying like, you know, make sure you're, uh, you're matching the energy of the things that you want, but definitely some sort of reward here. And literally, I mean, you have your card Libra showing up here, which puts you in a position of power and strength. But this card is about equal give and take, about putting energy into things and making sure that you get out what you put in. So I feel for a lot of you, that you're kind of like matching energy with the stuff that you want in life. And because of that, you're getting it. I also do feel that some of you could almost be getting karma or karmic rewards from a situation that you've been through. We kind of talked about this in the beginning of the reading. You also have the devil here, but the devil is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So it looks to me like if you, you know, if someone did you dirty or something like that, you could be getting like positive karma. With the Page of Swords, you have the Seven of Swords. Everybody gets a Seven of Swords. I know that everyone reads it as lying, cheating, stealing, but the Seven of Swords is really a good card. Um, you know, golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. And the Seven of Swords is really a card of tactics. And so, you know, definitely something to think about. You know, it, this is a card that says, instead of going straight for something, is there are there more tactical ways for you to accomplish your goals? And if the answer is yes, then that's what I would do here with the uh, Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, you know, can represent lying, cheating, stealing. Obviously, if you meet a person and they seem like a liar, they probably are. So, you know, trust your instincts. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Justice card. You know, the other thing about Justice and Three of Pentacles is teamwork. You know, it's like saying you don't have to do all the work in your life on your own. And this goes for all areas of your life, Libra, like whatever you're working on. You know, are there people who can help you? Are there mentors who can help you? Parents, are there, you know, uh, you know, people you look up to or whatever that can help you accomplish your goals? If the answer is yes, you know, allow people to help you is what I feel that is saying. 
With the Justice card, you have the Page of Cups. Definitely an admirer. I feel there is definitely a, an admirer here. I really feel it's probably either a Fire Sign or Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or Capricorn. Could be a person who has a lot of those in their chart, whatever. But, you know, really, I feel it's probably one of their Sun signs. You have a Sun here. And uh, definitely could be a Leo as well. But I feel that... Um, you know, I feel like there is a admirer or someone who's interested in you, even if you don't want love. <laughs> you know, like I always say, it's like just because you don't want love doesn't mean someone isn't going to be interested in you. You don't have to you don't have to accept it into your life, but it's here. Uh, you have this wolf card. It says cunning and stealth. You have this crown. It says success and pride. I feel there is a lot of success coming in for you. I was also getting something about leadership. It's weird. At the beginning of the reading there, I kind of thought that I saw a card that said leadership on it, but there isn't. <laughs> so, um... You know, I don't know where that came from, but um, no one else has had a leadership card today or anything about leadership. So that's pretty weird. Um, but what I would say is I thought I saw that in, in my head maybe, but um, you know, there's something about leadership here. The crown could definitely represent you um, taking the lead or in a situation. Uh, this could be probably work or business. Like I was getting something about management or you know, getting a raise or a promotion. We even have the King of Pentacles here. So some of you, could be getting like longer term, more secure positions in work or job. You could be getting a new job that is more longer term secure. So if you're looking for that, then this would definitely be confirmation as well. Uh, I also feel that you could be attracting a person who's more secure, you know, uh, if that's what you're looking for. King of, I do like the King of Pentacles in love because he can represent a person who's like serious, a person who wants something long term, a person who's really invested. And you definitely could be attracting a person like that. You have the devil. The devil, of course, can represent toxic energy, but this is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So as far as the good stuff is concerned, it looks to me like you are releasing uh, toxic vibes. The other thing about the devil that I will say is that he kind of represents creative energy, and I'll tell you why. These two people right here, they have these animal horns on their heads, and the two people kind of represent our baser instincts, like root chakra energy. We come up with a creative idea. We need to bring that energy up to our head and express it into the world. So sometimes I feel with the devil that he actually represents expressing something into the world. Um, you know, like an idea, a plan, a goal, a wish, a dream, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. But I feel for a lot of you, that this is saying it's time to be creative. And we are entering into a very creative time. So, <laughs> you know, I literally say this all the time. And, you know, that's what I'd be doing is kind of like stepping into a creative energy or using your creative energy. You have the emperor. The emperor is about taking the lead and making something happen. So, again, another card of leadership. Could be an Aries coming in for some of you or someone with Aries in their chart. But I also really feel that you're, you need to be ready to take action on an opportunity that could be coming your way here, Libra. The her, the air, um, sorry, the emperor, if I can talk today, he really is ready to go at a moment's notice. He's ready to take action on something that he wants to create, build, or have very quickly. With the king of pentacles, you have the five of pentacles coming up in the area of the good stuff. So that would tell me that you're improving your finances. It's a pretty good reading. So, you know, there, I have no reason to believe that you wouldn't be improving your finances. With the justice card twice and that investment card, I would just make sure, I think the easy solution here is if you're putting energy into something, are you getting you know more money out or are you getting a better return on your investment of time, effort, energy, whatever it is. With the devil, you have the nine of wands. Yeah, I feel like you have drawn boundaries. We set, set it here and obviously it comes up here as well. Um, so it looks to me like you understand what a devil person looks like now. Um, maybe, maybe, it might be that simple, Libra. It's like maybe all of a sudden you you just have an understanding of like who cannot be in your life and who can be in your life. And you're just more like maybe you're more clear on knowing uh, when a person is good and when a person is bad. And you're just putting up healthy boundaries. With the emperor, you have the three of swords. So you could be healing from a heartbreak. Again, this is coming up in the area of the good stuff, which would say that you're healing from a heartbreak or you're forgiving a past situation is what that's kind of like saying. Uh, I can see this first card that you have here, by the way, is um, this camel card it says persevere and you will overcome. You have the nine of wands twice. Nine of wands is kind of like the card of perseverance. So, you know, it's a card of not giving up, which is basically perseverance. So I feel for a lot of you, that as long as you keep pushing, you will be very successful. Uh, you have this cracked cup card. It says dissatisfaction with life. Um, I feel a lot of people feel this way. I don't, do I feel bad about this? No. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel that a lot of people feel this and at, you know, maybe it sucks on one hand, but I also feel it's a thing that's motivating us to be more successful. So, you know, it's like the, this dissatisfaction could be making us more successful, but don't, don't just like sit in dissatisfaction. Obviously do something about it. 
you have this cane it says pay attention to your health every single person for the past like i don't know two months has been getting something about health so i would you know i don't i wouldn't be paranoid about it but you know i would just like make sure you're staying healthy make sure you're you know eating good food and you know all that other good stuff and you'll be fine you have this carriage it says a journey either physical or mental definitely a good time for adventure and you know pretty much everyone nowadays gets stuff about adventure i literally have been on my hands and knees begging people to go on adventures it's like the quickest way to be successful right now quickest way to um you know to overcome obstacles pretty much everything and an adventure does not have to be literal you don't literally have to go anywhere you can learn something new that's an adventure you can improve a skill that you have and learn more about it that is an adventure so i would be doing something to improve something in your life you have this career card so I definitely see a ton of career stuff here. We were talking about leadership and, you know, becoming a leader. So it definitely seems to me like you could be, um, you know, stepping into a leadership role or something. You have this uh, d dagger card says, for fears, worries, tense situation. I feel like everybody feels like this right now, like feels like something is going to happen or feels this heaviness or like feels like the, you know, something weird is going to happen in the world or whatever. And I feel we need to change that, number one. <laughs> like I think we need we need to start focusing in the other direction so something doesn't happen, right? Let's, let's not collectively manifest something weird. But I also feel like you're protected. It's weird that um, pretty much everyone, you cannot make this up right here. I, I wanted to see what this next card was, but... Um, you know, uh, it, it, it's like, I, I think we're much more protected than we think. You have this throne card. It says position of authority. There is clearly a position of authority just waiting for you. Look, it's an empty throne. There's nothing there. <laughs> it, it's just waiting for you to sit there. Uh, this could be a relationship for some of you as well as what I'm getting. Like you could be getting into a relationship that increases your authority in the world in some way. So pretty good. I like where this is going for you, Libra. It looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.